Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am uh, delighted to be able to comment on Bill 117, Ontario Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Amendment Act. Uh, our government is taking action, Mr. Speaker. That is why we're here today. We're taking action because we need to make sure that we're providing the right animal welfare and we're protecting those animals that cannot stand up for themselves. We were elected to protect what matters most, and we're also protecting our animals and making sure that they get the protections they deserve and they deserve, and Ontarians expect that they deserve. We're moving robustly, Mr. Speaker. We're going to make sure that there's transparency addressed here and that there's accountability addressed here. And then we've already been working, the minister has been working really hard with a lot of the affiliates already, including uh, OPCAs, uh, to make sure that we do have an interim uh, period solution here to make sure no animal is left unprotected and no animal endures the harm or danger without the protections in place. However, Mr. Speaker, we were told on May 4th we're providing less than 30 days notice that no longer will the uh, will OP, uh, OSPCA be providing those protections. So we're taking action today. We're working together. We're working hand in hand, both with the residents of Ontario, hardworking taxpayers, to get their input on this legislation, Mr. Speaker, because we can't rush good legislation. We can't rush the protection for these animals. It is crucial. And animal welfare in Ontario can only be success successful when the needs of the abused and neglected animals are met. And this can only be accomplished with the province of shelters working hand in hand with those to enforce animal cruelty legislation. And Mr. Speaker, I will end by saying not only did many men and women sacrifice themselves to give us the freedoms that we have today, but there are also animals that also sacrificed themselves in our world wars who worked with our medics. And so that is why we're here today. We're commemorating D-Day, but we're also, we're also commending the fact that we have the freedoms to pass the legislations we have today because of those sacrifices. So thank you.